Hello everyone, welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions. And in this video, we're gonna find the flow in a sewer pipe that is flowing uh, completely full. Now, if you're having problems solving any FE exam problem, just download our guide below, the five steps to solving any FE exam problem. It's a very useful guide. It'll take you through a step-by-step -step process to making sure you can pass the FE exam. But anyways, let's jump into the problem. So it says here, find the flow in a sewer pipe flowing full with a roughness of 0 0.012 a diameter of two and a half feet and a pipe that drops five feet over 100 feet of distance. So there's a lot of variables given here. When I hear full sewer pipe, I'm thinking Manning's equation. So I search in the FE manual. We have Manning's equation over here. So I'm just going to write that out because we want to figure out what is given in this problem and uh, what we're trying to find. So what we were given, well, we were given the roughness, right? What's your one, two, a two and a half foot diameter and a pipe with a drop of five feet over 100 feet. And what that means is we're just given a slope of 0 0.05, because five over 100 is 0 0.05. Now, what we need to find is the flow in the pipe. So that's going to be Q, and uh, we don't know that. So we're gonna use Manning's equation here. Manning's equation is written out Q equals K over N times A r to the two-thirds of the hydraulic radius, and I'll talk about that here, and then s raised to the one-half. So for the k value here, for this kind of problem, we're going to have 1.486, and you can see that in the FE manual for USCIS units, it's 1.486. Over n, the roughness is 0 0.012. The area is going to be pi d squared over 4, which we know is 2.5 feet. It's also important to note the units that we're using here. So everything is in feet so far. So it looks like we're in good shape. We're going to get the correct units for CFS for the flow. Now, hydraulic radius is A over P, or the area over the wetted perimeter. Since it's a pipe flowing full, we shouldn't have many problems with that. So the area is similarly be pi 2.5 squared over 4. And the perimeter, if you remember what the perimeter circle is, it's 2 pi r, right? So 2 pi or d over 2 again, so 2.5 over 2. And this is all going to be raised to the 2 thirds power. And then the slope, which we determined was 0 0.05, will be raised to the 1 half power. So this is our equation. This is how we're going to be able to uh, find the flow in this pipe. Now you notice that some terms can cancel out here. The pi's can cancel out and one of the 2.5's can cancel out here as well. So let's go into the calculations portion. Okay, so we got 1.486 over 0 0.012. We're going to get 123.8 Okay, multiply by the area. Which equals 4.9 feet squared. And now we're going to calculate this hydraulic radius. 2.5 times 2.5 divided by 4. Then we're going to divide that by two of the 2 and the 2.5 cancel out. So we're just going to divide that by 2.5 and raise it all to the two-thirds. It gives us 0 0.731. And then 0 0.05 raised to the one-half equals 0 0.223. So we have all our values. All of our units checks out. And we get the answer of 98.75 CFS. And we see that the closest answer over here is going to be D100. So that's what we're going to select as our answer. So let's remember the process here. We found the variables that were given. We found what we needed to find. We looked it up in the FE manual. We used Maine's equation, keeping our units consistent. And then uh, we conducted our cal calculations carefully. We got 100 CFS as the flow rate in this full flowing sewer pipe. Like I said, we have that guide below how to solve any FE exam problem in five steps, just click the link down below 
and I will see you guys in the next FE problem video.